by 1942, when Edwin Boring wrote the first history of psychology, uh, he listed at least 12 different explanations, theory for the Muller-Lyer illusion, among others. So there is a lot going on, and we're only going to do look at the simplest case here. Illusion are objective, meaning most people see them to a different degree, but also animals see them, they're quite universal in that respect. So they are a figment of our imagination, but a true figment of our imagination. But illusions are also subjective. They depend just about on everything you can think of. Depend on gender, depend on age, depend on color, depend on the orientation of the illusion, depend on the orientation of your head, depend on as a cultural aspect, and so on.